CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. In this video, I'm going to show you how to live view your security cameras, Inc. and VR cameras using the SCI View app. So first, you're going to want to tap the SCI View app to open it. Here, the app is going to connect to the NVR I have added to the app. You can see it just went from a offline status to online. It is the SCNVR 16P2 here. And then to pull the cameras from the NVR, I'm going to tap right on the name of the NVR. And it's going to bring in all the cameras that I have connected to my NVR. You can see I have six cameras connected to the NVR. So now I'm going to show you the grid option. So you can tap right on the grid option in the middle of the bottom menu. It's going to bring up the options that are available to you. So here is a single camera grid view. The second one is the four camera grid view. The third is a nine camera grid view. There's the 16 camera grid view that we opened when we opened the NVR. Then there's a six camera grid view with one in focus. And then last but not least, an eight camera grid view with one in focus. So now you can actually tap and hold these channels to drag them to the various grids. So if you want to switch the cameras around while you're watching them, again, you just tap and hold and then drag them to any of the grids where you want to. So you can move cameras around, swap them around, or if you want to remove a camera from your view, you simply tap and hold and then drag it up to the trash can icon to get rid of that channel from your view. If you wanted to bring that camera back in, you would tap the carrot icon next to your NVR and then it's going to show you all the channels that you are watching in blue. So it highlights those channels in blue. And then to bring the camera back that I deleted, I would need to tap camera and it's going to bring it back into the grid view. So once again, I could tap and hold and bring that camera into the big block of the grid. So now if you wanted to view these cameras in the full screen, you want to get rid of the extra menus and stuff on your screen, you would need to rotate your phone to bring it into landscape mode. And then you'll just have your grid here. So now if you wanted to bring any of these channels into full screen, you would need to first tap and select them. Tap on the grid option, bring in the single camera grid option, or double tap. So double tapping will also bring you in and out of the single camera grid view. So to get back to the portrait mode view, I am going to need to rotate my phone back into portrait mode. So now the next thing I'm going to show is the favorites option. So let's say there were four cameras that were very important to you. If you had a multi-camera system with more than four cameras, then you could go to the star icon at the top right hand side and then the default group you can either add a new group or modify the default group I'm just gonna modify the default group by tapping the pencil and paper icon at the right hand side and then I can choose the channels by tapping the stars that I want to have in my group so I'm gonna go ahead and tap four of these cameras and then to save this I need to tap the back arrow at the top left hand side so now this is my default group. You see I only have three cameras, but when I tap on my default group, it's gonna bring up the four cameras that I selected for my default group. So the groups is kind of how you make your favorites. Again, getting there by tapping the star icon at the top right hand side. If you wanna get back to your grid view options, you do need to just click on the view, the grid view, and then tap on whichever grid view you wanna bring up. So next would be the snapshot and live recording options that are offered in the app. So you would need to select the channel that you want to actually take a snapshot or live recording from. So I'm gonna bring all my cameras back into view here and then go back to the nine camera grid view. And you'll see there is a small faint blue highlight. So when I tap on channel two, it's gonna bring that highlight there. Or if I tap on, let's say channel six, then you'll see that small blue highlight there. It's kind of hard to see because it's so small, but there is a blue highlight there. So whenever you tap on a screen, camera that's going to be the one you currently have selected and you'll see the name change I'll highlight that there, there in the center so when I tap on different channels it'll pull up the name so here we have a model number for this camera and that's channel 5 if I tap on channel 6 it just goes to IPC and then if I tap on channel 4 it just says camera so see that name change in the center that's whichever camera you have selected now again the snapshot and live recording would be the picture icon for snapshot. So if I tap that, it's gonna take a snapshot from the camera I've recorded. I could tap that preview to be taken to it, or I'll show you the file list here in a moment. So the next is the live recording option. Again, this isn't recording on your system. It's recording directly to your phone 
in the app. So I'm going to tap on that camera icon. It says start record. I'm going to tap on it again. It says the save was successful. And then to preview that file, I would need to go to the person icon at the top left hand side. I'm going to tap on that. And then I would need to tap on file list. Here you can see the files that I have saved to my phone that were snapshots and local recordings. So I could tap on any of these and then preview them. If I want to delete them, I would just need to tap the checkbox icon and then tap the trash can icon and then tap OK. There's also a share button and another download button. So I'm going to tap the left arrow at the top left hand side to get back out of the file list. That's a very neat feature if you want to save any snapshots or recording directly to your iPhone or Android. So next, I'm actually going to select a channel. I'm selecting channel 3. I tapped on it. And then if I wanted to listen to audio from that channel, I would tap the speaker icon. So I tap the speaker icon. And now I should be able to hear audio from that channel if it has a microphone. So I'm going to disable that audio by tapping the speaker icon again. Next is the microphone icon. Now this is two-way audio. So when you tap on that, it's actually going to call through your NVR to the camera if the camera has two-way audio functionality. And it may prompt you to access your microphone on your phone, which you will need to tap allow in order for two-way audio to work. I'm going to go ahead and hang up on this. So I'm tapping the hang up icon in the center. Next would be the alarm configurations. That's the gear icon with the shield next to your device's name. So I'm tapping that. So this would allow you to adjust any of the disarming for any of your alarm inputs. So you could tap the save floppy disk icon to save any of the settings within this page. And then I'm going to back out by hitting the left arrow at the top left hand side. Next is the manual alarm output. If you have any sirens or manual alarms attached to your system, that would be the little hand with the two dots icon. So I'm tapping that. And then I can tap manual alarm to turn that manual alarm on if I had a siren connected. And then if I wanted to turn it back off, I would just tap the manual alarm toggle again. So I'm going to back out of this menu again by tapping the left arrow at the top left hand side. So last but not least, you can also manage some of the settings from your NVR within the app. So you can tap on the person icon at the top left hand side and then tap remote setting. Then select the device that you want to manage. And then in here, there are the various settings that you can set. So it's almost as though you were there at your NVR or in the web interface of the NVR configuring some of these settings. So really quickly, I'm just going to tap on channel and then image control. So this allows you to control the image settings for your cameras from the convenience of your app. Hopefully this video gives you some helpful tips and tricks for live viewing your security camera zinc cameras and NVR system. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.